Hello everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Crazy Machines. Um, I'm gonna... This is my attempt at re-recording the fourth episode of this, because the fourth episode was uh, 55 minutes long, I think. Because I just was messing about way too much. So, I'll try to streamline it a little bit more, and... It worked. Yeah, get this properly working. Fancy a game? Hmm? You can see the ball has to go into the cage. It just needs the necessary impetus. Okay, so this is another puzzle that took me ages when I was a kid. But I think it'll be fine now. In the previous recording it was okay. Yep, there we go. Nice. See the two billiard balls between the wooden boards? Well, now comes one of the last gravity tests. They have to go back into my box, but stop wasting time. Um, okay, so the start of this is pretty obvious. Put this about here and about here. And then... I guess let's cut it about here. Because why not, right? Will that work? Please work. I would be forever grateful if this worked. It absolutely worked. Okay. Even I have problems with it. Even the professor has problems with it. Now I've forgotten to snuff out the candle in the hall of my house. I'd like to see you do that with a basketball. I wonder why he says that with the fucking problem like 70 times more often than anything else. You have to support these by connecting them together, otherwise they'll all just do random stuff, go all over the place, which no one likes. Um, what happened? Oh, I see I actually did manage to connect that. There we go. Is that gonna work? Looks good. There we go. And the basketball even has a little hat. The tradesmen have finished up early again, lazy devils. God, I hate those tradesmen. Bring the plan to completion so that production can carry on as usual. Okay. So this is actually the point where we'll get into proper puzzles. Um, okay, so the first thing that you'll actually have to notice is that you don't need the first conveyor belt at all because it just moves over there. Um, so... Hold on, how did I... Oh yeah, like that, like that, there we go. This is how that is done. This took me way too long to figure out in the first recording as well. There we go. Who is the funny man who tied my bucket to a balloon? Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good joke, funny man. If you put it back beside the wooden box, I'd be very grateful to you, and you never know, perhaps you might need some help with the next test. You know, how, how are you even going to help me? You don't know how to solve any of these. You'd at least it seems that way, you make it seem that way. I don't I don't understand. What's the law to this game? Does the professor know anything? Or doesn't he? Um I'm just gonna take a guess and say that this is connected that way. Because I can't be bothered to think about this. It's way too convoluted to think about. Did I do the right guess? Nope, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> There we go, let's wire it up like this, and now it should be fine. Why always there's these balloon puzzles with a balloon that's descending very slowly? Like I don't I don't understand why these have why these are necessary. My last test balloon's flying away. Quick catch it or we can or we can forget about today's experiments. And that would just be the worst, wouldn't it? Um Actually, I remember that I, the solution that I'm going to use now was wrong, but I like it, so I'm going to show you show it off anyway. And then I guess I'll show off the plan as well of how the developers intended you to do it. So, hold on, yeah, they have to turn like this. So this is the way I did it. I wonder why that box is even there. Like, what, what's its purpose? Come on, there we go. So that was my solution. 
and this is how you're actually supposed to solve it. So I was basically just overthinking it, but you know, whatever, right? It is very important that you safeguard the new tennis ball, the one with the optimized flight path, okay? The best place for it is up in the high security bucket, is in the high security bucket, which is right there. If you watch this up, I won't have the ghost of a chance in the hardest match of all against Newton tomorrow. Okay. So we have to bridge these two gaps using only dominoes, and we can't rotate them. So what you actually want to do, what the developers intended for you to do, is to use these billiard balls to knock the dominoes over, but again, we don't need that. So we're just gonna use this billiard ball to knock the other one away. There we go. I hope that's actually going to be good. There we go. Nice. Okay. And this is actually the way they intended it. Use the, the billiard balls to knock them over. And their domino structures were a lot prettier than mine. The shelves must be dusted again. Yes, under the weights too. Just place them on the right when you're finished. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. We have to get these weights from here to here. And... Yeah, that's actually a lot more difficult than you'd think. And the main problem with this is that you need a balloon constellation that can hold these two weights, but you only have two ropes to connect them with. So the way you actually do that is by rotating one of them 180 degrees and putting it right here. And then, so that they that doesn't fly away, we have to cross these ropes like that and that'll work beautifully as you'll see soon I hope at least let's move these over there so they don't block anything there we go and this is another puzzle where you watch balloons slowly rise because that's 90% uh, of this game game's gameplay apparently not that I'm complaining but you know I wish these levels were a, little, a, bit, a bit more, a bit, a bit more fast. Oh god, damn it! That's what I get for complaining. But look, see this. This is just I don't know. It's just kind of annoying to watch this all, all, the, all the way over again. And this is also the reason why that previous recording was so long, like 55 minutes. That's that's, that's so much longer than all the other recordings I've had. But I think this will be fine now. Oh, come on, please. Yes, there we go. That worked. One of the boxes is just lying there. Help me get it to its proper place. The UPS man wants to get all the all of my inventions to the pa patent's office in one load. Okay. Oh, I actually solved this in a very fun way. Because I'm such a genius and I tricked the developers by doing this. Look at that. Wasn't that genius? Let's look at the plan. Yeah, that's obviously a bit more interesting. I like that cog they put up there. Um, the balloon from the last experiment is still hanging up there. I've already weighted it down to make it descend. Now it only has to be put into the cage. Ha! Did I say only? Okay, so this is a pretty fun puzzle. Um, once you know the solution, anyway. So, how did I do this? I did it, I remember that I did it wrong in my previous recording, but it still still got it to work. I think I used this trick again with the, with the gears. Um, so I think I'll just do that, because you'll see the, the real solution anyway. And I don't see why I shouldn't be showing off two different solutions to this, because, you know. Um, so we wire this up like that, and do this. I gotta be honest, the developer solution to this is a lot better than my solution, but, you know, um, do we actually even need the cannon? I don't think we even need the cannon for my solution, because it is so brilliant. Let's, we need a little space right there. Actually. We don't even we don't even need this. We don't even need this at all. Why did I even put that there? There's no reason for us to put that there. Because my solution is just so brilliant. 
so utterly brilliant. Look at that, wow. Wow, now you are jealous. I know you are jealous. Can't even say anything against that. Wow, my intellect is just so great. Okay, there we go. So now that's gonna cut itself on its own. And there we go. Now let's look at the plan, which is a lot better. Oh, shit. 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 Um, I kinda... Uh, <laughs> I've... Oh god, I didn't even remember the level. What was the level? Um... Um... Uh... Wind power... Pitch dark magnetorium... Oh, no, we've done all these. Oh, we're on part four. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. God. Balloon limbo? Yes, okay. Um, I'm gonna pause the recording and just redo the, all this stuff. How do I pause the recording? F11? Did that do it? That did not do it. There we go. I did it. Uh, so now let's actually look at the plan. Which is a lot better. Now this... this uh, I hit, I've hyped this up way too much, but... You know... So yeah, they. I'm not entirely sure if they ever use the the gears for their movement actually, or if they if they require that of you. But I kind of hope they will, because I don't know. I like that. I like my solution. I like this solution as well. But I just wish I had to figure that out. Um, aha! Here's the ball that's missing from my bowl set. I must complete the set, otherwise Gauss won't play me. Why does he always play dumb sports with dumb people? Uh, uh, Gauss was dumb, by the way. You, that, that's your history fact for today. Uh, that didn't work. We have to use this domino to bridge this gap right there. Just that's what I was trying to do there. And I'm not very good at that. Um... I don't feel like I'm doing much wrong here, I mean, how, how else am I supposed to do this? Well, not definitely not like that. I'm just giving it too hard a push now. Ooh, that was so soft. Oh, that was beautiful. Come on, please. Oh no, it's gonna get stuck here. There we go, that's perfect. I have problems with it. Why? Why does he say that so much? The smallest metal ball in my collection keeps going missing. To avoid this happening again, place it in the bucket. We will. Um, actually, this is incredibly easy. Because they didn't think of one little thing. And that is that the scissors are static, so we can just place them right here and it'll solve all the world's problems. Oh, that bucket just fell over. Uh, which we can, again, just solve by placing a balloon right there. So this is not the intended solution at all. But you know, this is the intended solution. I like that whole bit with the basketball, the scissors and the rope. Oh, actually that is useful isn't it? Because that is what prevents it from falling over. I put the balloon right there as, as a way of actually replacing that because this is a lot more convoluted than just placing a balloon right there, isn't it? But okay. You'll need strength to get the ball into the target position. Oh yes, I'm sure of that. This is an annoying puzzle. Um, first of all, we have to replace one of those uh, hook things, whatever they're called by putting a weight right there and then we put a weight like here about, I suppose and this is just gonna be a lot of trial and error now oh, there we go, that worked first try, thank god oh, fiddlesticks, the box is completely stuck but I don't have the time for all these trifling ma matters get it back to the storehouse I will, professor 
Why would I ever say no to anything you ask of me? Um, so first of all we want to push it up a little bit like that. Just for convenience sake or whatever. And then we want to connect it up like this because we need this rope to be long. Uh, the rope right there so that the weight can actually be blown off by this dynamite right there and actually fall off the board entirely because only that way is the world going to be a better place there we go the price of balloons on the stock market has just gone up like a rocket I just cannot afford any new ones at the moment please be careful with the last three hmm? Okay, so what you're supposed to do here is prevent these candles from lighting the dynamites with this I have balloon. Known that before. No, you haven't. You've never seen this puzzle before, I promise. God. Professor... Why? Why does he exist? Why? Oh, there we go. That worked nicely. Usually this is the dumbest puzzle of all time. And takes ages. And it's not even a puzzle because it's just... Play, diff, changing the placement of that balloon all the while again and again. But, you know, I'll take it. This is the emergency lightning system lighting system for my workroom, and it's time for its annual inspection. Le relieve me of this task, I'm involved in an important experiment. Like what? Like... <sighs> Professor, you never do anything important. Okay, so... Let's wire this up the way it's supposed to be. Um, and the, the puzzle here... Is that basically this fuse is gonna burn down, and... Actually, this fuse is going to burn down, and activate this, and that the explosion this causes will actually cause this these two billiard balls to move to the right. And what we want to prevent from happening, because uh, as you can see, the contacts are already in place. There is already a circle here, so that's fine. And there isn't a circle here. So what, as you can see, once this thing is flipped, then you can see that the contacts aren't, you know, together anymore. And this has to be flipped so that they are together. So we have to prevent this from being flipped, but have to flip this. And that's the whole problem here. And the way we solve this, my solution to this anyway, which is also, as always ten times better than the intended one, um, is just like that. Actually, we can just put this here, I think. There we go. I love this little detail with the context here and the way it's actually like it actually makes sense. I mean it really doesn't considering Does it make sense? I don't know. I don't care enough. God physics and electricity and school. Ew, right? Ew. Who needs it? Who needs it? Look at that. Look at that. We're gonna be such genius in a minute. Wow. I love the feeling of solving one of these puzzles because you always feel like such a genius. Place the bucket on the right hand board. I'll get it later. Yes, that's it. House rules. What? Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? So the problem here is that this fan blows the balloon over to the right, which we don't want. So let's just put another fan there and counteract that. So what direction do we need? We need this direction. Actually, no, we don't, because we've mirrored it anyway. And I think we need this rotation, right? Yeah, that's fine. Oh dear, put this a little too far to the right. Come, on, Professor, I'm trying my best. <coughs> there we go. And it actually looks like it's rotating this way. Uh, if you look at this wheel, but it's not. Oh, is it? No, it's not, because look at this wheel, because th you can actually see that it's turning this way on this wheel, because uh, because it has one texture as opposed to the symmetry going on here, so you can actually tell, and god damn it, are you serious? Okay, now it'll work, I promise. I promise it'll work. This is actually looking to definitely be a shorter video than my previous recording. Which I am very glad about. I guess I don't want to jinx it yet because there's still three levels to go, and I think the last level, level 80, actually took me about 10 minutes to solve. And I didn't even pop the balloon right there, it just accepted the solution even though I wasn't done with it yet, so that's weird. Have you gone crazy? You can't conduct experiments with 
while the belts are running, switch them off immediately. Okay, let's do that. Um, so what you're supposed to do right here is the same thing that we've seen in a previous puzzle before, and that is to use the conveyor belts to launch the box in a very weird way. So like that. Except now we have to fiddle about with it again until it actually works, which is annoying. Oh, 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 there we go. Nice. Oh, that was not nice. Fuck you, basketball. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, it even landed up there. Look at that. That was such a trick shot. I need the steel ball tomorrow for a highly scientific experiment. Prepared for me by getting it to the position marked with the arrow. Oh, this puzzle. Oh, this puzzle. This took so long. And the name of it is pretty good as well. Steel ball. How? Okay, um... So once again you wanna... You wanna lift something heavy with just one balloon. So the way you do that in this case is, again, by putting these like that to support it and stuff. There we go. And connect this up like that. And you'd think that we'd have solved it at this point, right? I mean, what else is there to do? Except that this, again, is something that takes ages and... Uh, Always has a very, a very finicky placement. Which Wait, I just want to have a look at my own contacts insurance. Shut up! You don't need contacts insurance. Oh God, the professor. Yeah, this took really long. This took ages, and I hope it's going to be different now. Look at this! Come on, this isn't a puzzle. This is just. This is a test of patience. I hope the last 20 levels aren't going to be like this. Oh, but I'm afraid they probably will be. See, now you have the liberty of actually being able to fast forward through this. But I have to keep watching this over and over again. It was so dumb. Why? Why, Professor? Why do you do this to me? Oh, that didn't work. At least we have wonderful music running in the background, right? Uh, please? 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 Come on! Uh, maybe if we place it like that. I doubt it'll make much of a difference. Yeah, that didn't really work out that well. Show what your skills are! Show what your skills are! Oh, oh, no, that's not gonna work, is it? Oh, fuck you, Professor, fuck you. <sighs> I hate this puzzle. Steel ball? How? <gasps> oh, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. Come on, please, please work, please work. Oh, because usually, even when you do manage to blow up all these six blocks right here, then the fucking bucket. You have what it takes to be a master inventor. Thank you. Um, usually, even though the, these six blocks you blow up, there's still that bucket, and the bucket falls right there and blocks the other bucket from going in, and that is just incredibly infuriating. Why didn't they just? Fucking get rid of this puzzle, like Jesus Christ, I hate this puzzle. I have tied up the test so a rocket here to see how it explodes. It's your task to ignite it. Except we can't see how it explodes because it'll fly off the screen. And this, this is another terrible puzzle. This is another puzzle that took me about 10 minutes. And this is the second reason why that previous recording was so fucking long. Because this puzzle is broken. It's just broken. Um. I'll, I guess I'll show you what they want the solution to be, and that is because, you know, uh, hold on, that was completely dumb. Uh, if we connect this up like that and just use the normal speed to move this candle over, 
then that is way too fast and the castle castle this is a castle now uh, it falls over and that's not what we want so oops the solution that you actually want to use is wait let me get rid of all this uh, you get the energy through that and then power that with this and use this on these cogs here and wire it up like this. This is the solution that they want basically. I mean, actually, this is the solution that they want. But the problem with that is that the candle falls over in this version of the game. It never used to when I was young, and I don't know why it does that for me, but it just makes the puzzle basically unsolvable if you don't do something really dumb here. Which is this. Okay, so that didn't work as you can see. So now it's just again fiddling with the parts until things work. I mean that clearly wasn't the intention of the developers this time, but still, like, come on, why why why? Oh, you can actually see the explosion now. Look at that. Wasn't that beautiful? Okay, so I think that this re-recording was a success. It's not 55 minutes anymore. So yeah, I hope I'll see you next time in the last part of this series. Goodbye.